Right, one more left. Yes. This is such a good way to get frigate upgrades. Alright, I'm gonna get as close as I can to this thing. Try and take him out as fast as I can with the Positron. What? What is this? I'm stuck inside the Sentinel Fritter. Are you kidding me? Oh my gosh. This is such a waste. I'm gonna lose all my stuff. Ugh. Come on, you gotta be kidding me. Hey travelers, I guess this is round two and kind of part two to my last video. In the last video I showed you guys my personal way of hunting down S-Class freighters. And as you could tell, it did not take very long. In this video, I'm going to show you how to upgrade your freighter now that you have it. So please hit that subscribe button and let's get started. Ah uh, yes, your very own S-Class freighter now. Let's take a look inside and see what we can do now that we have it. First thing you'll notice upon docking is if you have multiple starships, they too will be docked in your freighter. So once you make your way to where the commander sits, you'll notice the center of the room has some control panels. In the one directly in front of you, it allows you to upgrade and or change the appearance of your freighter ship. There are a ton of different colors to choose from, but keep in mind, it's 5,000 nanites per color. If you guys are struggling to acquire nanites, I have a pretty nifty video I uploaded a few days ago regarding curious deposits and setting up bases around them to essentially farm thousands and thousands of nanites at a time. So check that out if you have time and you'll unlock those colors in no time. Once you make your way to the upgrade portion of the menu, you'll see you're able to unlock some hyperdrive upgrades. They're the same as your starship. You need different tech modules to get to different color systems. The matter beam, which also allows you to be further away from your freighter ship to transfer inventory in and out of your freighter's inventory and your exosuit's inventory. Of course, at the very top is the frigate fuel and to the left are the frigate upgrades. The frigate upgrades are basically just one-use items that you can add to your frigate's expedition. To give your frigates a boost and some stats, it's pretty simple. So there are two ways to get those. The first way to get those are obviously by unlocking the blueprint with salvage frigate modules and crafting them with the required items. We'll go over the second way and what I think is the better way later. Or if you were paying attention to the intro, that's also kind of a hint. Okay, so what are salvaged frigate modules and how do you get them? Think of them as salvage technology you would use to learn blueprints from the anomaly. But instead, these are specifically for your freighter and frigate blueprints. The easiest way to get them is to attack other freighters in your system. Yes, that means we become space pirates. <clears throat> Sorry about that. Leave your freighter, and if other freighters haven't already warped in, just do some pulse driving around, and when you exit pulse drive, you'll start to see them warp in. The key thing here is to only attack the freighters, because if you attack the frigates, it will lower your standing with that race. Or if you don't really care about the standing, then all power to you, go nuts. 
So when you get up close to these freighters or frigates, you'll notice they have cargo holds. You can hover your crosshair over the cargo hold, and if it has anything in it, you'll see whatever is inside. Many of them have items that you mine for, like gold, silver, etc. Some will also have chromatic metal. Others will have salvage frigate modules. You want to destroy that cargo hold, and the frigate module will end up in your starship's inventory. Once you attack the freighter, it will attack back, and sentinel ships will be sent after you. So what I do, since I'm already attacking the freighter, I just kind of destroy all the cargo holds and take everything. Since it's already attacking me and all, I might as well get some extra stuff for it, you know? So usually for me, about three fleets warp in, and I will kill the freighters in all those fleets. When I have taken everything from them, I'll pulse once available, and I'll pulse towards a planet. Sometimes this triggers more fleets to warp in. Those fleets that just warped in won't attack you because you haven't attacked them. So if you're trying to play it safe, you can still get close to them to inspect what is in each cargo hold. To unlock all the hyperdrive upgrades, you'll need about 45 salvage frigate modules. So if you don't have enough, you can do a couple things. Go to the space station, land, get out of your ship, trigger an autosave point, and reload. Or warp to a neighboring system and do the space pirate things there until you get the amount you need. It's pretty simple. Once completed, head back to your freighter ship and get back to the control panel that lets you upgrade. You can now use your salvage frigate modules to unlock those blueprints. Once you unlock them, you'll essentially need the same items as upgrading your hyperdrive to get you to the multiple color systems as you did as your starship. You can now go over to the right and there is a control panel across from the expedition NPC. This control panel allows you to warp around inside your freighter now. Granted, you have the hypercore fuel to do so. Now you should be able to go into every color system in No Man's Sky and transfer items back and forth between your inventory and the freighter's inventory with that matter beam. When it comes to base building inside your freighter, that's better just left up to whatever your vision is. But personally for me, I'll be doing some farming inside mine since there's so much open space. So get creative and build away. I hope I was able to help you guys out with some information you probably didn't already have, but nonetheless, I appreciate you guys clicking on the video regardless. I always appreciate a sub button pressed as well, and as always, I'll see you guys in the next one, travelers.